The carpet's down now, and the world's fastest men and women can get ready to move into their new Olympic home. As long as the opening of London Olympics is approaching, the signs of a terrible false flag event to take place during the games are everywhere. The various occult symbols surrounding the event, as well as the several subliminal messages being transmitted by mainstream media, and the very heavy military apparatus being deployed by the British government, suggest that the Olympic scenario may be used as a stage for the Illuminati to carry out a mass occultist ritual with likely human sacrifice. There's a crescent popular awareness about these signs. Most are so blatant that is hard to ignore, and regardless the naysayers' allegations about fear-mongering propaganda, the fact is that the satanic global elite has thrown a series of predictive mind-programming flags concerning the London Olympics right in the face of the people. And all these flags invariably point out to an upcoming disaster to occur during the Games. I've gathered some of the most noticeable symbols and messages in a single video, so that you can take a glance at the whole picture, and take your own conclusions, whether it is just paranoid, or if actually there's an occult agenda to take place during the Olympics. Illuminati symbols based in ancient occultism of Egypt and Mesopotamia are deeply embedded in the London Olympics. The creepy mascots of the games make an obvious reference to the all-seeing eye of Amun Ra, and the lighting structure that surrounds the Olympic Stadium was purposely built to resemble a series of pyramids with the all-seeing eye on top of each one. The flawless timing between the Olympic torch ceremony that took place in May 10th in the Temple of Hera in Olympia, Greece, and the sinister fate of the Russian Superjet 100 in Indonesia, which slammed in the Mount Salak in West Java, few moments after it took off in Jakarta, strongly suggests that this disaster very likely was a human sacrifice for the torch ritual. As a matter of fact, the crash happened just few hours prior to the ritualistic ceremony in Olympia that was performed with ancient invocations to the Greek sun god Apollo. And surely it was no coincidence, the presence of a man dressed as the ancient Greek god Poseidon, hanging around inside the airplane during the Asian road show. The man supposedly identified as a Russian photographer and blogger, recently admitted in an interview to Time website that he was aboard the aircraft performing an occult ritual on the flight crew and pilots. When it eventually emerged, held tightly by the Princess Royal, it didn't look very much. But there, inside this little hurricane lamp, was the Olympic flame. It's only really when the torch comes into your possession and actually gets here that you really realise this is it. And the Illuminati stooges carrying the Olympic flame in front of the cameras, make sure of showing the people whom actually is in control of the London Olympics. As long as the sheeple is amused by mind-controlled celebrities who show only the entertaining aspect of the London Olympics, and does not suspect of any evil conspiracy, the dark overlords of the satanic Kabbalah carry out their occult agenda for using the games as a stage for a possible mass sacrifice. Even though considering the various predictive mind programming signs left by the shadow elite, such as the global disastrous scenarios depicted in this document of the Rockefeller Foundation, which actually flags a bomb attack during the London Olympics, most people is still seeing these hypotheses as nothing but wacky conspiracies.
More than two billion people worldwide will be able to watch the free show of peace concert. And the signs of some huge occult ritual to take place at the London Olympics have been flagged by the shadow elite since 2008 during the Olympic Games in Beijing, China, when the British government sent Led Zeppelin's founder, black magic practitioner and disciple of A-lister Crowley, Jimmy Page, to be one of the 2012 Olympics representatives and to be awarded by the United Nations during an event, represented by a pentagon-like logo formed by five satanic pentagrams. And this is the King of Bahrain, a monarch who's... The Diamond Jubilee of the Reptilian which Queen Elizabeth also points out that the London Olympics might be a stage for occultist rituals and the flawless timing between the meeting of several global Illuminati bloodlines at the Windsor Castle in the same weekend of the rare annular eclipse of the sun, as well as the bomb attack in Sana, Yemen, definitely was no coincidence. As a matter of fact, the odds are that the bloody event in the capital of Yemen, whose name means brilliant, also was a human sacrifice for the eclipse. Of practice and preparation after a week when security with the start of a major training exercise. The massive military apparatus being deployed in London for the Olympics strongly suggests that the Illuminati may have planned some big false flag event to occur during the games. Regardless the fact that mainstream media is selling the story that the heavy security measures adopted for the games is due the concern of British government with radical Muslim terrorists, it totally sounds like the official story for plausible deniability in case of something actually turns out to happen. The British government would be accused of incompetence, but not of negligence. They would give room for speculations and conspiracies about their failure, but not of their perpetration in a possible disaster. It's also a massive security operation. A creepy TV series produced by a British channel in 2008 pushed a heavy mind programming psyop about a nuclear attack in London during the 2012 Olympic Games, as well as an apocalyptic scenario of martial law that would fit the agenda of the New World Order. Nuclear attack on London. In bomb terms, the blast was relatively small, but the death toll wasn't. It looks like the satanic cabala of the Illuminati is mind programming the people towards a false flag event during the London Olympics using the same subliminal predictive codex magica technique used by the American entertaining industry prior to the 9 11 inside job in New York. Though the British government is making sure of not letting loose ends as its American counterpart. Oh my God. ...to do in the stadium before the games next summer. They did it once in 2001, and 11 years later there is a lot of signs pointing out they will do it again in 2012. Various subliminal messages and even blatant references flagging a demonic plot to be unfolded during the London Olympics, too many to be ignored and treated as paranoid of wacky conspiracists. And the awareness of these signs and the simple decision of not attending the Olympics, and if possible staying away of London, can make the difference between life and death. The future is still a problem. One athletics official said to me that it was definitely a distraction.